uh, my esteemed colleague from the Bronx is very critical of the regulations which he feels benefit unfairly the landlords. But the rules that were changed in previous years were done by agreement between Senate Assembly, Republicans and Democrats, and those rules are being followed. The goal of rent control or rent stabilization ultimately is to get off of rent stabilization and go to a free market. My esteemed colleague from Brooklyn talks about facts. Well, there are some significant facts. The Citizens Budget Commission produced a very comprehensive document, chock full of facts. I don't dispute the numbers that he gives me. But the fact of the matter is, more of the people that he believes rent regulations would help, we could help more of them if the rules didn't favor wealthy Manhattanites or wealthy Brooklynites or people from the Bronx who are staying in rent-stabilized units much longer than they need to because the distortions in the marketplace that rent regulation promulgates leads to these very these inefficiencies. We need more housing. There is more room in the city of New York. We could change zoning regulations. We could modify environmental regulations. Landlords would love to see rent control and these tax breaks disappear tomorrow and go to a straight market. They would vote for that tomorrow. I would vote for that today, tomorrow. But because the system is already distorted, the only way you encourage developers to put aside 10, 20, or more percent of housing units for affordability is to give them the tax breaks because the economics just don't work due to the limitations that current regula rent regulations impose on development. Those are the facts. I urge a no vote on this bill. Rent regulation, as originally intended, should expire eventually. An expansion of these rules by increasing these rental and uh, income amounts and the other provisions of this bill continue to move the goalposts. A free market is the best way to provide housing affordability for all income groups. There will be no shortage of people who want to come in and develop properties to provide affordable quality rental space at any price point if you take away or unleash or unlock the shackles that limit their ability to do so today. The city government, the landlord community, in cooperation with tenant groups, can work together to build affordable housing all over this city. I believe there is still plenty of room to build housing at every price point. We seem to have no shortage of space to build market rate housing. Why can't we build affordable housing? Let's get rid of rent regulation. Don't expand the provisions of this bill. Stop coddling people who can afford to pay market rents because it is those people, whether they're in Manhattan or Brooklyn or the Bronx, who are literally hogging affordable housing for themselves and forcing or creating the homelessness that we want to fight. This bill needs to die Expansion of rent regulation, re-regulating units that have been deregulated is wrong housing policy. It's terrible economic policy. It will do nothing to expand affordable housing for anyone in the city of New York and the other areas that are served by this legislation, by the current rules. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.